Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to add colorants to a glaze recipe. So in the first video I created called Introduction to Glazy.org, um, I created this test glaze here. So if you haven't watched that video um, and you're unfamiliar with Glazy.org, you might want to check that video out first. Um, so I am logged into my account. So these are all the glaze recipes that I've uploaded, including this test glaze that I created in the last video. So I'm going to click on test glaze. Uh, so this glaze is set as private. So I haven't published it to the community yet. Um, so what I have created is just a base recipe here. So there are no colorants added. And what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to add colorants, which you can do um, in the beginning when you're first creating a recipe, um, or you can add it later. So I have a couple options here. I can either edit the recipe that I already have, or I can make a copy of it and make a new recipe with colorants added. So that would um, keep the base recipe as is um, and then create a new recipe with colorants. But I think I'm just going to edit the recipe that I already have. So in order to do that on this menu here, um, this edit info button is just for edi editing the details of the recipe, like the name and the description um, the firing temperature, etc. If you want to edit the materials or the actual recipe itself, you just click this calculator button. So I will click that and then that brings my recipe up in this window where I can change uh, either the percentages of the materials that I've already added or I can add new materials like colorants. So it's really easy, but I just wanted to point out one small detail that will help you with your recipe notation. So say this glaze, I want to try it with 2% copper carbonate. So I click on this new material field and I start typing copper. I have two options, copper oxide or carbonate. So I'm going to click copper carbonate and 2%. Now I can include the 2% copper in the base recipe or I can add it as an addition to the recipe. So if I want to keep my base recipe intact uh, where I where the colorants are um, are written as percentages on top of 100%, then I would just click this little check mark, check mark box here. Um, under the add column. And so that means if I say I increase this Gersley borate, um, I change the recipe in some way, and then I hit this 100%. So see now the recipe adds up to 108, including the copper carbonate. So we've got 2%. So the base recipe actually adds up to 106. So if I want to make the base add up to 100, I can click this 100%. And it just keeps the 2% copper out of that calculation. So the 2% copper is still in addition to the base materials of this recipe. So since I've changed a bunch of things, say I start manipulating this recipe and then um, I get carried away and I want to go back to what it was before I started making changes, if I haven't clicked this update button, I can just hit this reset. And so this brings us back to my original test glaze recipe without the copper. Um, and then I can go back in and add the copper carbonate and 2%. And if you're using the tab, so I can click hit tab to move across these fields, um, or I can click with my mouse. But if you're using tab and you aren't 
don't want to click your mouse, you can just hit the space bar and that will check the box here, or you can just click on the box. So there we go. And then I could go update and then that just saves the recipe as it is now. So in the future, if I start playing around with the materials uh, in the ingredients and then I hit the reset button, it's going to reset back to what it is now since I hit this update button. Um, and so I can add more colorants, red iron oxide. Oh, actually, I think you have to hit enter. I think I just hit tab. So if you don't hit enter, if you just hit tab, it won't actually select the material that you were trying to select. So we could go 2% red iron oxide and add that as an addition. So what I was saying, so say rutile. So here rutile is selected, but if I just hit tab, it's not going to actually select that. So um, once I have the material selected, I am, I have to hit enter and then it brings me to the next field over here. I can add say 5% rutile and click that checkbox. So now you can see that the base or that the recipe totals 109% including the colorants. But if I, so let's go, I'm going to update this just to save it and then say I want to, I'm start increasing the silica uh, to create a glossy glaze, then um, then all of a sudden this recipe no longer adds up to 100% plus colorants. And then I can just hit this 100% base and then it normalizes all the base materials so that they add up to 100% and then all of the colorants are in addition to that. Um, and I'll just hit reset to go back to what where we were before and then I can just hit update make sure that that is saved and now I have this new recipe with uh, a few different colorants and opacifiers included uh, which could be interesting. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please type them in the comments section. And um, as well, if you have any other videos in mind that you would like me to make about glazy.org and how to use it, um, then please just let me know. Okay, thank you.